Okay, it's taken a lot to figure this out. Those fans are not on. They're actually spinning by heat alone. These are considered smart switches and uh, they're connected to that temperature reader right there. All these look at these things are trying to figure this out. So although it says 86, I'm actually going off of this temperature right here is kind of the hottest part. And uh, right here, I'm about to sweat. And the idea is when this reaches 90 degrees, which should be any moment now, it should hit 90, fan one will turn on. If fan one cannot cool it, um, and it still keeps getting hotter into 95 degrees, 93 degrees, only three more degrees if it can't cool it in three degrees, fan two turns on. If that can't cool it, eventually we're gonna have to figure out a way to hook up the water bowl. So this is experiment number one to test. My phone should go off and uh, temperatures at 90 degrees, the fan should turn on. I hope we're not waiting a while for this, that's for sure. So currently it says that the temperature is 89 degrees and uh, we're just going to be patient here. One more degree, it should kick in, it should kick in. Should get a notification and the uh, fan should immediately start turning on one more degree okay here we go so temperature notification fan on smart mind i don't want to be here i'm going to be here and think about the temperature oh my gosh there it was I just got a notification. Look at that. What? It works! It works! Yes! <laughs> Finally! Okay, now, now, if it cannot cool the mine down to 93 degrees, no, if it cannot cool the mine down to 90, and it, and it gets to 93, if the temperature still rises, fan two will turn on, fan two. The idea is this mine will need to cool down to 87 for one fan to turn off, and then 90, 85 for the second fan to turn off. That is remarkable. Ladies and gentlemen, do not use these little multi-sensors moisture they don't work. You gotta go with these guys. You gotta go with the multi-purpose. Have a great night. This is incredible.